Okay, now this is just a uh, very brief non-technical video on different um, radiation detecting devices. Um, and and it's, you know, like I said, it's not going to be technical, really. It's this, this video, the idea behind it is pretty much if you're uh, planning that trip to Pripyat or Fukushima or, you know, even if uh, you go to the base of the reactor at Chernobyl or, or anywhere, really, there's radiation um, or you just want to detect around your household. Um, basically this is just a short video on what you want because there's a lot of stuff out there that's the right stuff for it and there's a lot of stuff out there that's the wrong stuff for it. Unfortunately, for the most part, there is no Holy Grail uh, Geiger counter out there that's, you know, $12 and it's going to detect Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and even X-Ray. It's just not out there, unfortunately. But... There are plenty of good used options like I have here. This one and this one. The Rat Alert 50, um, I bought this off of eBay. It's in, like, new condition. Works great. Calibrated. I mean, when it showed up, it was calibrated fine. Um, and it does a couple different things. Counts per minute. You could do total. You could do, uh, I, I mean, everything. It's got audio. Um, it, ha it detects, as you could see, alpha, beta, gamma, and x-ray radiation. Very good unit. Um, this was used, uh, it paid between 80 and $85 for it with free shipping, came with a nice, nice pouch carrying case with a, a belt loop right there. Uh, very good deal. Um, I think there's several on there. I forget the seller's name, but, uh, highly recommended. So if you go on there, you type in Rat Alert 50, you'll see it's, it's under a hundred dollars. It's a great, great Geiger counter to have because new, a Rat Alert 100 or the newer versions of this and different brand versions are well into the hundreds. Um, I think like four or $500. So if you want a, a nice, a really nice Geiger counter for a good price, this is the way to go. Also, they have these. This I paid about the same for. This one has several different modes, um, and it has a probe on it, so you can detect radiation on different things. Um, it is also portable. Um, there is a hookup for uh, external power, but in the back there's batteries. So right now I have batteries on it. It's in the portable mode. Um, this is for measuring... Um, up to the most at 2,000 counts per second. Um, so it, it, it doesn't go crazy high and it doesn't, um, it, it doesn't meter it, uh, t like this one does. This one you could set, set to, uh, total counts or just counts per minute and it'll, it'll give you a number. It'll say, this is how many counts per minute you're getting. This one only tells you the estimated counts per minute while you're on the source. So as soon as you take it away, needle drops, and it won't save any data or anything like that. But it's very good. Um, I believe they use them in in a, like labs and stuff in the medical field, just as a tabletop monitor. Brings us to this one. This is can be had for anywhere from twelve to twenty four dollars, something like that. I think I paid twelve for it. This is for. So you can see if I get my camera to focus here. electromagnetic radiation. Now, if you type in Geiger counter or radiation detector on eBay or Amazon or one of these other sites, most likely this is going to look like the best option because it's so cheap and it looks like a Geiger counter. I mean, it looks like a sturdy piece of equipment, which it, it is. It's cheap. It's a very nice piece of equipment. However, this will not tell you anything if you are looking for nuclear radiation. This will tell you electromagnetic radiation. So over here I have americium. This is found in common household smoke detectors. Right there in the middle, right in the middle, that different colored metal, you could see that's your americium. This is, like I said, in household smoke detectors. It is highly radioactive. What I'll do is a demonstration. I will turn on the electromagnetic radiation meter and we'll put it up to the viewer sensor whatever you want to call it up front and as far as this is concerned there's nothing there and I have it pointed straight into it nothing 
Doesn't detect anything. Nothing at all. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn this on. The Rat Alert 50. And I'm going to go ahead and hold it right in front of the, uh, the particle window. Wait till you see this. Um, I think I'm missing the window a little bit. There we go. Now, I don't know if you've ever messed with uh, Geiger counters, but that is a scary number to see, and especially how fast that was climbing. So, what I'm getting at is, you could buy this, and you're going to have a false sense of protection, because you this will not detect what you're looking for. If you're looking for a nuclear radiation meter. So, go ahead and shut down the Rat Alert 50. We'll go ahead and turn on the um, Series 900 mini monitor. And there's that familiar sound you hear in documentaries and everything of the Geiger counter. Look at that. One nice thing about the, the Series 900 mini monitor is you can actually set with this little dial down here, an alarm. So, watch. Oop, didn't set it quite low enough. When it gets to a, the, the alarm is so that when it gets to a certain part on here, a, cer a certain scale, it'll actually, uh, it'll actually set off an audible alarm. See? So it looks like our alarm is set just a little above 100. And you can control that through this. There's some different settings as well. Um, first setting for battery voltage, telling you if the battery is good or not. As you can see, the battery is fine. The needle would be right there or lower if it was not. You have sound on or you have monitoring with sound off. Sound off monitoring, it just moves the, the needle. So, yeah. Uh, Pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good um, radiation monitoring equipment, both of these. If you're going scouting um, outside or you decide to take a trip to Three Mile Island to look around see if there's any radiation or anything like that, um, probably you want something like this to walk around with. This is more if you're finding stuff on the ground because uh, it has the probe and everything and you want to, you know, put the probe up to things and looking for rocks sort of, um, you know, th th this is kind of what you'd want for, um, if you're, let's say, a geologist. This is more kind of background radiation as you're walking around, things like that. You could certainly use this the same way you could use the 900, but you would have to, you know, walk around on the ground like that and all. This is really for if you're, you know, walking through a contaminated area and you just want to make sure you're safe. Um, this is good for nothing. Unless you deal with a lot of electronics. I will show you. This here is a transceiver. Right now I have it on the uh, International Space Station temporary frequency that they're using because their gear is down right now. Um, well, their, their former um, frequency is the radio that, that they're using for them is down at the moment. Uh, which, in case anybody doesn't know, you can, with a ham radio license, you can actually talk to the International Space Station. And uh, it's... I mean, it's really cool, so if you have your license, I definitely recommend doing that. But, regardless, let's go back to uh, why we're here. So, you can see we're measuring electromagnetic radiation. Obviously, this is an electronic device. It is giving off electromagnetic radiation. Sometimes you just got to move it around. There we go. So, it gives it off. And if that's what you're trying to measure, this is great. It's a great little little uh, little device, little handheld device. So if that's your field of business, then it's a great little cheap device. But don't make the mistake of, you know, trying to look for, you know, rocks, you know, out out you know outside that are radioactive or anything like that. You know, people do that. A lot of people, they use what's called a pancake for it. It's a different type of probe, but a lot more expensive, but you don't want this for that. So, like I said, what's a, electromagnetic radiation will not detect nuclear types of radiation. Um, and actually, just for comparison, 
Now, it's normal to see this thing click a couple times. I mean, it could go anywhere from zero to, I don't know, 16, 18. It could even go way higher than that, but typically I don't see it go much higher than that, just background. So I'll put it up to here. And got a couple little jumps. Nothing major, though. It's not actually detecting this. It's detecting background radiation, so you get the idea. If you're going out to buy a Geiger counter, don't buy that. It's the gist of the video. See that? I think we just got like one tick so far. Nothing. Eh, a little one. Nothing at all. Also, one more thing I'll say that, that I, I found very interesting. Um, in case you're interested in how these things actually work. The tube that's inside of there, there's a long tube. About that long, probably, maybe even a little longer. Basically what happens is it um, it creates, um, from my understanding, is some sort of uh, electro electromagnetic field kind of, um, and what happens is, I'm not sure if it's actually electromagnetic, but, but you have two probes in there um, that carry current, and what happens is when a, a particle of a, a radioactive particle shoots through that tube, it, it makes that sound. Now you can, the sound you're hearing with this is just raw sound. This one actually has a module in it that actually makes a beep. This, that sound you're hearing, that's actually, you're actually hearing the radioactive particles firing off of that and going through this tube. You're physically hearing them shoot all out of, out of this, the americium, through the air and go up through the tube inside, inside of this probe. As they fire through it, they actually affect the electrons that are inside the tube. And when this is hooked to a speaker, that's why you hear that sound. That sound isn't being produced by a circuit board or anything like that. That sound is literally hooked, you know, is, is these, these particles flying through the tube and interrupting the flow of electrons. I always thought that was very interesting. And I'm sure somebody can do a way more technical analysis on that and use uh, the proper terms if I haven't. But this is just a very, very basic, bare-bones video. If you're, you know, messing around online looking for uh, a Geiger counter. So, you know, a lot of people are interested in it. Um, like I said, if it's just something you want to walk around your house with and figure out, you know, what's radioactive, what's not, or out, out in the wild or somewhere else, you do not want this. So, so don't make the mistake of buying this. The price looks great. The device itself looks really good. I mean, it and it's a very nice device for the price for twelve dollars. I mean, this is this is great if that's your line of work. Not sure how accurate it is because I don't have anything to accurately measure. You know, uh, the the uh, the sensitivity of this, but um, yeah, like I said, you want to measure nuclear radiation? This and.